Hey there, fellow classic comic collectors. As always, I'm Scott Harris King, and today I'm going to talk to you about moderns. That's right, and not just moderns. Variants! Modern variants! I know what you're thinking. What happened to me? Did I come in from another dimension? Am I some sort of evil doppelganger? Have I, in fact, been taking the crack? But no, none of those are true. Don't worry, it's still me. What I want to talk to you today is about modern Archies that are actually worth a surprising amount of money, which for modern Archies means they're worth any amount of money. Um, but specifically, I want to talk mostly, not entirely, but mostly about uh, some Archie variants. Now, Archie variants are, are interesting um, because historically they did things a little bit differently with their variants. Right now, Archie's not really publishing any new comics in, in regular floppy size. They're still doing a digest, but they've kind of put their line on hiatus. And uh, that's because the sales are so bad. And the sales are so bad because Archie's primary source of distribution has always been the, the uh, not the direct market, but newsstand. Um, even, in, you know, until just a few years ago, you could find Archie's at grocery stores and stuff like that. And so as a result, if you look at Diamond sales figures, the print, the amount of comics that were being sold at uh, in, through the direct market to comic book stores was very small. Towards the end, um, we're talking about like three, 4,000 copies, sometimes less for the Archie titles um, in terms of their sales through the direct market. A few years ago now, um, a while ago now, like, I don't know, eight, nine years ago, um, Archie started putting out variant covers to try and get some of that small direct market because their sales were dwindling. They're moving away from the newsstand. And what they did was, was different. It wasn't, for the most part, I'll show one an exception, but for the most part, they weren't like um, chase variants like you see from Marvel and DC, where if you order 10 copies of this book, you get... Uh, one copy of the variant or 25 of the book you'll get this even rarer variant it wasn't like that they don't have those sort of ratios they were basically just uh, a different cover and um but the thing is that the comic book stores had to request those specifically so when they put it in order they'd put it they'd be like send me 10 copies of rg 366 336 right um or they could send that in and say like send us 10 copies, but we want five of them to be the variant. So they had to specify we're looking specifically for the variant. Um, and the result is that it's hard to say how many of the variants are out there because they're not necessarily more rare than the regular version. It very, it's just completely dependent on how many the stores happened to order. But the fact is that um, you're not really going to be getting, you know, grocery stores ordering variant covers. So they're only going to come from the comic stores. The direct market for Archie was incredibly small and only some unknown portion of those are the variants. So you have a situation where even if a comic book stores were ordering half of their copies as variants, and I, and I don't think they were, um, you may only be looking at 1,000, 1,500 or 2,000 copies printed. They're very low print runs, these variants, despite the fact that they weren't chase variants. Uh, and so what's happened is that some of those have started to get some value. Now, most of them aren't super expensive, but for Archie comics, most of them you can find in the dollar bins or you can find cover price. A lot of comic stores will have like, if they have a kid section, it's just whatever the Archie stuff is, it's all over there at cover price. Um, so there's deals to be had if you can find these comics because most of the dealers are not going to be pricing them appropriately because most people, most of the dealers aren't going to know that these comics are actually worth money. So I know you can find some of these. So I'm trying to help you out because I'm going to be looking for some of these too. I just realized, you know, I've been collecting Archie Hardcore for a number of years. So I have a lot of these variants in my collection. When I started buying the, the Archie stuff new at my LCS and put it on my subscription pull list, um, which was in 2012, I think. Uh, I realized relatively early on that they were doing these variants. They'd started just before I started 
collecting. And so I told my comic book store to just get me the variant. And so most of the, the new issues I was buying um, were the variants because I had asked for those. They didn't cost me anything extra, but some of them have now become worth some money. Again, most of them aren't like super expensive, but we're talking about a lot of books that are creeping into the 10, 15, 20 dollar range. Um, and uh, pe most people have no idea and you can find these in dollar bins and there's a few that are higher. So I'm going to show you those. One caveat is that it's really hard to figure out how much these are worth because of the fact that nobody knows how much they're worth. It's sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy. But what I mean is if you go on eBay, you can find some of these have sold for some pretty high prices, but then the same comic has sold in the same time frame for a much lower price. And I'm pretty sure that's what's happening is that people don't realize they're worth very much. They put them up at a low buy it now and then people buy it now. And so I'm going to start off with an example of exactly what I'm talking about. This is the variant cover for Archie 636 by um, Giselle Legacy. I'm probably butchering that name. She's a Canadian artist who's actually known for doing some um, explicit material. Um, but she d draws a fantastic Archie, maybe my favorite of the modern Archie artists. And this is a story called Reverse Dale, where all the characters were gender swapped. So we have Archina um, in the middle, and then the male versions of Veronica and Betty. I forget what their names are. Um, and so this, um, it, I just did a look on eBay, and what you'll see is a sold listing recently for $15, another sold listing for $30. And yet right now there's one available for eight with a buy it now, eight plus shipping. So 13, but th those weren't, so it's like 15 plus shipping or 30 plus shipping. Those are sold. Like those are auctions, buy it nows that were hit on within the last couple months. Um, and yet someone put one up for eight because they didn't look at that. So you can still get some of these deals. It makes it really hard to figure out what they're worth. But I can tell you that someone out there was willing to spend $30. Most of the copies up for sale on eBay now are priced around $30 to $35. It's just there's this one outlier. I think someone just threw it up for eight. I was tempted to just buy it myself. But on the other hand, why even? I just, it's so volatile. I don't think it's worth it in terms of trying to make money. And I already have a copy. Um, but that's just an example and of um, a variant cover that you can probably find really cheap in the bins. Um, and it's, uh, definitely worth more to some people, but it's another example, uh, again, of how hard it is to figure out what these are really worth, right? Let me, let me adjust the lighting a little. These weird creepy shadows, um, that's a little bit better. So I'm going to go through a couple of different titles. I'm going to start with Archie, the main book, and I'm going to kind of go through in, in order of, of the value of these variants. Um, they started doing the variants, uh, they had some as early as the 16s. Um, and in the 620s, they really started doing them right at the end of the 620s with the Kiss. Archie Meets Kiss had several variants, and then they had um, Archie Meets Glee. But I started getting them around 636. There's there's some for like 635 as well. I have most of the variants starting around 645. Um, here's one. This is this is probably a 10 to $12 book. Um, and this is a Dan Parent... Um, variant where we have um, a bunch of the characters it's uh cheryl veronica betty and valerie and they're done as sort of like 50s pinups um dan parrot is someone who has a lot of um he's a sort of a regular archie artist for the last 20 some years he has a lot of these variants and uh, the reason I was inspired to do this is I recently got one of his variants, one that I won't be talking about in this video, but I'll just, um, I won't be showing, I'll just mention real quick, is recently um, with some of the few comics that Archie are, is publishing sporadically um, physical versions, uh, they're doing this thing where um, there'll be stores, or in this case the Virginia Comic Con is doing these limited editions where there'll be 250 copies printed with a Dan Parent variant. One of those is really expensive for reasons that I don't quite understand, but it can go for upwards of $150. There's 250 of them printed. It's got, and it's just Betty and Veronica standing there in bikinis with a pink background. 
it doesn't really work for me. I don't understand why it's so valuable, but I had gotten a different one of his 250 limited um, that you could only get from this one place. And um, as soon as, and like I got it because the cover was so cool and you'll be seeing it in the haul video soon. But um, I checked on eBay and as soon as I, as soon as it arrived with me, it arrived at other people and they were flipping it and it was going up to 60 bucks within a matter of like a few hours. Uh, so that's when I started looking through at some of these other variants. Um, so that's sort of a different type of variant we won't be talking about, but a lot of, we'll see, be seeing more damn parent variants. And um, both with variants and other modern Archies that are worth money, of course, they typically are ones where Betty and Veronica are looking sexy. Not all of them, but that's most of them. But here's another one. This is a um, variant for 645. I don't remember who the artist is. It's a bikini cover. Um, there's only one by it uh, sold on eBay recently. It was 12. So again, you're not going to get rich off of most of these, but there's some cool deals that you can find. And this is a market that I think is just sort of starting to come around. Um, I certainly was not aware that any of these had any value. And as we'll see, some of the prices are, are interesting. Um, here's one of my all-time favorites. It's uh, 646 Andrew Peepoy, who does a lot of these variants, um, doing the Archie Science Fantasy. So it's, uh, you know, obviously it's a takeoff on the old EC comics. Um, you can see this has a $10 sticker on it. I don't think I paid $10 for this. I'm pretty sure that I bought this uh, from my LCS new. Um, it, I did get mine signed by Andrew Peepoy. This is about a $15 book. Um, there's a couple sold on eBay a little bit less than that, but there's some that are higher. Um, I've seen copies, um, sold copies uh, up, upwards of $20. Um, so this is this is a great, great cover. Um, you can't really go wrong with it, but it's one to keep an eye out for. And as far as the Archie title itself, the big ones in terms of these variant covers are is for issue 658. They did two variants, and they're Dan DiCarlo variants because what they did is they took some full-page pinups that DiCarlo did in the early 60s and they turned them into covers. It's um, a Betty pinup by DiCarlo and the Veronica pinup by DiCarlo. Um, so my guess is um, it's hard to say again how many of these are out there. My guess is that uh, there's probably a few more of these than some of the others because people like me were buying both of them. But on the other hand, maybe not because there might be people that only wanted one or the other. And as a result, there's multiple versions of this comic um, because there's also a regular edition. Um, my copy, my Veronica is, has a couple issues in terms of cover bends and dings. Um, the, my Betty is in nicer condition. Uh, this is a 20 to $25 book each. Um, you can see uh, eBay sales. Um, the lots of the both of them are upwards of 50. Uh, so this is, these are um, things to look for. If you're looking through old, uh, Archie bins um, or if you're looking uh, at, again, racks of, you know, comics, um, kid-friendly comics, they might have these out there. These are sort of the big ones from the Archie title. It's again, as you 658, the Dan DiCarlo, Betty, and Veronica pinup variants, and those are 20 to 25 dollars each. Um, now let's jump over to Betty and Veronica. So, Betty and Veronica was a little bit later in terms of getting into the variant covers, and I should say that a lot of every issue of Archie, and uh, for like the last 30 issues, and the last I don't know 15. For Betty and Veronica, at least, had variants. And not all of them are worth anything. A lot of them are just worth the same as regular price, including some that I really dig. But again, the ones where this Betty and Veronica looking sexier are the ones that people tend to pay for. Um, it's not really my thing, but um, I do have some of them because I was buying all the variants. Uh, here is the Marilyn Monroe... Um, famous pose sketch cover now some people uh, again are they list this as a dan parent variant it's not it's by jeff schultz um he was doing a thing at this time where he was doing some of the variants and what he would do is they weren't inked so he'd draw he'd do it um 
pencils only, and then they digitally color over the pencils. Um, and so uh, gives it an interesting quality, almost like a little like gray tone from, from the 50s and 60s in those DC books, the gray wash. Um, but uh, not his best work, not my favorite. I think Veronica in particular looks kind of off model here. Um, this is a 10 to $15 book. Here's one that's a little hard to peg. It is an Andrew P. Poy variant for $2.76 with both Betty and Veronica in swimsuits. And uh, only one sold listing, and it's just $10 um, on eBay. But um, the print run at the end of the series was very low. I mean, I, in my head, I thought that the series had ended with two seventy five, dollars the big anniversary issue, and they had a whole bunch of variants, including a, a really well-known Adam Hughes variant. But actually, the series ran until two seventy eight, dollars And these last couple issues here, 276, 277, 278, very, very low print runs. And so um, I have a feeling that this is a book, uh, even though the one recently sold for 10 the other ones that are available on eBay are priced significantly higher, more like in the $30 range. I kind of have a feeling that $10 might be an outlier. It's hard to tell. This is a book that I think should be um, higher than 10 And uh, again, an interesting, interesting niche. Another $15 book or so is the uh, Betty and Veronica We Can Do It sketch cover, again by Jeff Schultz. Um, and uh, you can see mine's signed by Jeff Schultz. It's also signed by Dan Parent. His signature is smudged. And we're going to see that again in a minute because I was at some show where I got a bunch of stuff signed by Dan Parent. And I think I got some of some books here, um, a couple of books that were just a dollar each. There was a whole table of, of this stuff for a, for a buck each. And I bought some stuff and I had Dan Parent sign a bunch of things. And his marker smudged all over all of them and just looks horrible. <laughs> so it's disappointing because I'll show you a really cool cover in a minute that's just got a giant ink smudge all over the front because his signature smeared. But anyway, mine's signed. Again, this is about a $15 book. And now we'll get into the, the big one in terms of variants. Um, it is issue uh, 267. The Betty and Veronica Mermaid variant by Fiona Staples. And this is one you want to keep an eye on when you're when you're looking for bargains because this is about a $45 book. If you look at the eBay um, sold listings, this is about a $45 variant. Um, it's, and it's really cool. I really like some of the stuff. There's a little Jughead fish. It's just really cool. It's a really good one. That's why I bought it. I actually hadn't been buying Betty and Veronica until I, until I saw this one. I bought this issue and then I started buying the series with this. And at that point, I'd, I'm not actually huge fans of the series Betty and Veronica or the characters that much. I'm a Jughead guy. Um, but I was trying to support all of the Archie titles, just trying to support the whole line because they were doing so poorly and I wanted to help keep them being published. So that's why I ended up with these. And now it's I guess it's paying off. Um, finally, uh, oh, wait, I've got one more. Now I mentioned earlier that Archie typically doesn't do the chase variants, but there's, um, a couple exceptions and this is one of them. So here's a book to look for. It's Archie versus predator number one. And this is a one in 30 variant by, um, Francesco Francovia, who was the artist on Afterlife with Archie. So he was really hot for a hot minute until they just crapped all over themselves and weren't able to put that book out on any kind of schedule. But this is something where they had teamed with Dark Horse and Dark Horse does do the chase variants. So for this series and the other team ups like this, where they're teaming up with other publishers, you may see these chase variants. In this case, again, one in 30 variants. Um, and I paid when this came out, my LCS sold it to me for 12 um, there's one sold listing right now on eBay recently, and it was for $28.50 plus shipping. So this is basically a $30 book, so you, one you want to keep an eye out for. Finally, let me just talk a little bit about some modern Archies um, that are worth money 
that are not variants because there are a few of those as well. And again, they're mostly booked at Betty or Veronica looking sexy on the covers. There's certain bikini covers um, that I don't have because I don't collect these titles I, that I probably did have at some point because I tend to get rid of them. Um, but things like Betty and Veronica 251 is a Dan Parent cover where Betty and Veronica are both wearing bikinis and standing in the snow for some reason. Um, that's a, like a $20 book. Veronica 28 is like a $30 or $40 book. It's got a Veronica and a bikini diving into a swimming pool. So just keep an eye out for those sorts of covers. Um, and uh, Veronica 201 now, the print run on Veronica and Betty were very low at the end of those titles. Veronica, with issue, think, 208 switched so that it, Veronica wasn't even in the title as the lead anymore. It was called Veronica Presents Kevin Keller. He first, I'm going to show you the book he first appeared in here, um, is 202. You can see I paid 50 cents for mine because they handily put a sticker on it. This is about a $20 book now. Um, it was more when it first came out because Kevin Keller was really hot and popular when he first came out. Um, it's cooled down some, but it's still about a $20 book. There's two versions of this. There's a second print as well with a different color scheme um, on her dress. This, I'm pretty sure, is the first print. Um, but this is a book to look out for, again, about a $20 book. Now, this is issue 202. Again, with around issue 208, they changed it so it was like Veronica Presents Kevin Keller. I think the book ended around 212, maybe 214. I forget exactly. It was canceled, and then, and then they just had a Kevin Keller series after that. So the print run on these issues right at the end was very low, and there's some, some ones to look out for. This is one of them, again, about $20. Here's one that's about a $10 book with a great cover, that, and this is the one where I have the signature that's smeared all over it. But it's um, the Veronica Catsuit Spy cover. She's kind of dressed like Black Widow, complete with the wristbands. There's a matching Betty cover with the exact same design um, where it's got the sketch in the background. It says Betty here. They go together. That's about a 10 to $15 book um, because the print runs very low and it's a very cool design. And then uh, here's a big one that I had no idea was worth anything. In fact, I just put it in a bag and board because it was bouncing around loose. And I think I probably picked it up at that dollar uh, for a dollar at that show that I mentioned. I'm not sure I paid a dollar for it, though, so it's not going in my dollar bin trading challenge. Um, but it's Betty and Veronica 261, the, which has a story... Betty the Vampire Slayer versus Vampironica. And this is the first appearance of Vampironica because um, when they Archie did their horror line a couple years ago, they brought Vampironica back. It's basically Veronica. Um, she's dressed like Vampirella and she's a vampire who uh, sort of turns, she stays good. And so she is fighting against other vampires. And so this is the first appearance of Vampironica. Holy smokes, I had no idea that this book was worth anything. Um, my copy is nice. It's got a, some wrinkling at the top and, and a couple dings. So it's like, I don't know, it's like an 8 or 8.5, maybe an 8.5. Um, a raw copy described as a 9.0 sold on eBay recently for $200. And a CGC 9.8 sold recently for $550. No idea why. I don't know why this book in my hand is worth between $150 and $200. It's lunacy to me, but, but whatever. So this is a big one to look out for. Um, so just rule of thumb again, towards the end of the series, low print runs, very low on some of these books. Hard to say how low because we only have the diamond figures and they were still distributing in newsstands. But when, by the time we get to this era of Betty and Veronica, you're talking about no more than like 4,000 going to newsstands. And so when we get into the variants, there may only be a thousand, 2000 of some of those, even though they weren't chase variants. So that's just an overview of modern Archie's again, rule of thumb. Uh, if Betty and Veronica are looking sexy, particularly or if they're in bikinis, 
then it may be worth money. Um, particularly if it's a variant, because that's going to cut down is probably a, a maximum of a quarter of the print run, probably f less than 10%. Uh, and again, most of them aren't like, you know, you're not going to retire off of these, but if you're finding these books in dollar bins or for cover price, like a lot of them can be found, um, you know, having a number of these books that are 10, 15, $20 plus books, uh, is cool. And again, there's books like this that you can get. Um, oh, and the other one I wanted to mention, I'm sorry, I skipped over because I don't have it, is Veronica 201. So here's, again, here's 202, the first Kevin Keller. The issue before this has a Veronica cover where it's done like a tattoo design, like an old-fashioned sailor's tattoo. So it's got Veronica, and it's just, it's done like a tattoo with a black cover. That is a $25 plus dollar book but there are copies I've seen, raw copies I've seen selling on eBay as high as $85. Um, but it looks to me like it's more 25 to 40. But that's a book you want to keep an eye out for. So a lot of a lot of cool books right at the end of the Veronica run that are worth $10, $15, $20, $40 or more. And then, of course, again, the big one, Betty and Veronica 261 um, and um, 267. So... Uh, hope this has been of interest to some of you. I know I am flummoxed by the fact that any of these are worth more than cover price. Uh, never crossed my mind that any of them would be worth more than cover price. But that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.